Hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll be making a Quantum Realm bracelet based on the suits that the Avengers wear in the new Endgame movie. Let's assemble. So to make our three color trilobite bracelet, I've got black, red, and silver, along with a three quarter inch buckle and a jig. We're gonna be melting the red and black colors together. You only need about five feet is my best guess, but I've got 10 here just to be safe. We'll see at the end how much I have left. Go ahead and melt the ends and press those together and hold. And then we're gonna set up our jig. So I've got mine set up with a three quarter inch buckle on each end here. So I'm gonna snap a new buckle into that. And then nearby the end where you melted your cords together, just go off center one direction. I'm gonna to go to the red. And we're gonna be making a cow hitch on the buckle. So put the loop through and then stick your ends through that loop. And coming to the other side, we're gonna be making a cow hitch with each of these strands. So for the red, go down through the top and then around this way. So it goes across the top and then up through the bottom and down through again. So there we've got our cow hitch. And then we just wanna pull all the slack through so that our bracelet is tight. I've already set up this jig to be the right size for my wrist, but you'll have to measure your wrist to make sure that you get yours right. A jig isn't absolutely necessary for a trial bit bracelet, but I've found that it's a lot easier. It helps keep your core strands straight so that they don't get twisted up in the weave cords. Then the same thing with our black. So now our bracelet is all set up. Um, except for our third color. We're gonna add that in now. So go ahead and take your silver cord, and that's just gonna go right through that cow hitch. Um, so I'm actually gonna loosen up my jig now that I have my sizes set so that I can pull out that cow hitch a little bit. There we go, I'll bring that back to size. Pull that through to the middle. All right, now that we have that silver cord set up, this is where it gets a little bit different from a normal trilobite bracelet because we have four cords to work with instead of two. Um, so we're gonna start with our colored cords and just make a weave like we would with a normal trilobite, which is on one side we go over underneath the middle two and over the left. And on the other side, we're gonna do the opposite. It's gonna be under, over, under. So we'll go underneath our left strand, over the top of the middle, and then underneath the right. And you wanna make sure that you're going down here on that one and not through this loop. So in addition to doing the opposite, we want to end up with this X pattern like this. So now with our silver, we're gonna do the same thing. This right side is always gonna go over first. So we're gonna go over, under, over. You can keep your red and black kind of out of the way to the top. And this one is going to go under. Oops, we'll pull that one through first. And this one's gonna go underneath over and then under. And then just pull all those cords tight. You may want to check to make sure your core strands are tight as well. And then squish that down and we're gonna do the same thing again with our colored cords. So red goes over, under, over.
and our black goes under, over, under. There's our crisscross again, and we'll pull those tight. So now here's our pattern. Start to get kind of our stripes. We'll go back to our silver, do that one more time, and then we'll speed up and catch you at the end. Over, under, over. Remember keeping the ones that you've already woven up out of the way to the top. And then under, over, under. Just keep everything tight as you go. It makes it a lot easier if you don't have to tighten it again at the end. And we'll catch you in a while. All right, so we've made it to the end. It looks like we needed our full 10 feet of silver. Um, but we probably could have gotten away with five feet of each our red and our black. So I'm running out of room here. Um, these two are ended underneath the bracelet, which is what we want. Now I'm just going to do one extra weave with the ones on this side and not do a crossover, but just to tuck these ends underneath. So I'm going to loosen my jig so I can have a little bit more playroom going through those tight spots. So I'm going to go up through the bottom. So that's where our red is going to end. So on our black cord, we're just going to do half way across on this one. So it's going to come down right above our red. And it's just going to end there. And with our white, we're going to do the same as with our red. Let's squeeze it up to that very small hole. I'm just going to send this one down through the middle. It looks like we have a little bit of a gap here on this side with the red, so I'm going to do the same thing with the red crossing back over. And I'm going to call that good. So now we'll take it off our jig, set that aside, and then we're just going to clip off the ends on the bottom side. and then melt those with the lighter. Push them flat against the bracelet. And now that's all done. So there's our finished bracelet, all set to take us into the quantum realm. Links to all the supplies used in this video can be found in the description. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more in the future. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.